Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. How are my cousins doing today? So this is unexpected. I wasn't thinking I was going to do this particular video, but here I am doing this particular video. So um, if you bank with this particular bank, you may be losing your account if you are affiliated with a particular group. Now, is this legal? I don't think so. But I'm going to put allegedly in here. Matter of fact, let me just run a banner right this minute. I thought I already had one made, but I don't. Add that up there right now because... Because I'm going to say allegedly, allegedly, okay? <laughs> allegedly, y'all. So happy Friday to you guys again. Thank you guys for coming in to my previous live that I did. I promise this one will not be an hour long. I'm going to get right to it. I'm doing a few um, stories because they've been popping up. So hence why I still have on the same shirt. Um, I took Gracie outside, went for a walk around the property. She used the bathroom. She played in here and now she's asleep again. So I said, I might as well go ahead and get to what I need to get to. So let me share my screen so you can find out what it is that's causing such a ruckus and, and why for are they doing this? <laughs> why are they doing this? You know, it should not matter who you are affiliated with as long as you are not Harming anyone physically um, doesn't matter what you say verbally. You're just supposed to be freedom of speech. You don't have to agree with everybody and what they say. But if this is true, I'm pretty sure some lawsuits will follow. So here we go. Bank of America is the bank, of course it is. And I have some other closures that I want to, um, <clears throat> there are some other closures that I do want to talk about um, with a, is it Bank of America? No, with a different bank that are close, closing locations, excuse me. <clears throat> oh, goodness, I've been talking too much. Closing locations, y'all. So there are some. There is a bank that is closing, and has closed some locations, and about to close a location. So let's get into what Bank of America is doing to some of their customers. because a boycott is being called for. Bank of America is facing calls for a boycott over allegations it is closing accounts of customers based on their political views. There are multiple MAGA profiles and Republicans that have criticized the bank in recent days over claims which have been denied by the company that it is allegedly allegedly engaging in a practice known as debanking because of customers' religious and political beliefs. Now, we've heard about this, at least I've heard about this happening over in other countries. I'm just making sure my banner is still up there. What is this? News layouts, shift five. Y'all, hold on for a second. Let me try something new. See what they're talking about. Nothing happened. Anyway, I've heard about this happening before based off of people's beliefs and religious and political beliefs, rather. Um, John Eastman, a former lawyer for Donald Trump, recently claimed his Bank of America and USAA accounts, oh my Lord, not the USAA, were closed in response to his attempts to help the former president overturn the 2020 election results. Eastman was recommended for disbarment from practicing law in March after a judge found his efforts to overturn the results in the 2020 results in favor of Trump had violated attorney conduct rules. I don't see why that should make someone close your account, though, whether he was guilty in that or not. Anyway, 
A number of pro-Trump and MAGA social media profiles are now calling for a boycott of Bank of America over the alleged de-banking. LJ Lindsay posted on Twitter, formerly Twitter, hmm, posted, I said posted on Twitter, posted on X, formerly Twitter. No one should be using Bank of America for their political, well, for their personal accounts as they are not personal loan friendly. MNB Brewster account added, if I had a Bank of America account, I would definitely close it. So they don't even have an account, but they're chiming in. And no further information will be provided if you have an account with Bank of America, boycott them. I do not. I stopped using Bank of America many years ago. I'm not going to read a bunch of Twitter comments either. The Bank of America has been contacted for comment via email, but again... They are denying any of this. Listen, they going to control you. They don't care how much money you got. They want to control what you say and what you do. So Wells Fargo just closed 62 branches. Well, they didn't just close it, but they started closing them in 2023. And they're continuing to do so. Banks across the country have been reducing their footprint by closing thousands of physical branches over the last few years. And Wells Fargo is no exception. Since October of 2023, the banking giant has closed over 60 locations. 13 of them were just in January of 2024, y'all. And they're saying, is it time for you to get a new bank? Is it time for you to get a new bank? That is a great question. And then the other, other one is also a Wells Fargo. Yeah. Wells Fargo is set to close a location, a branch in Raleigh, North Carolina. <clears throat> I saw this a few weeks back and I forgot to do the story on it. So this kind of fits in here. Wells Fargo told customers this week, and this was, uh, what was this article? This was a week ago. So I saw this, yeah, a week ago. Wells Fargo told the customers um, last week that it will permanently close its downtown Raleigh branch at 150 Fayetteville Street as part of a real I can't even speak as part of a real estate consolidation. The bank announced that back in January they would be shutting these locations down. Um, according to a letter, customers received. On Monday of last week, the branch at 150 Fayetteville Street will shut its doors for good on July 10th. There's your date for your Fayetteville branch of Wells Fargo. July 10th, they will be shutting their doors. After that, the letter told customers they'll need to go to the other branches for in-person services, but they're welcome to use their online apps. Customers with safe deposit boxes at the downtown branch will get another letter. With high interest rates, with many people working at least part of the time from home, we have more real estate than we need. So they're spending more money on lease and they don't want to. Um, the company said at the time, the bank employees working in the building would be assigned to other locations. Surveys conducted by Forbes Advisor and the American Bankers Association have found that each year fewer people are doing banking in person. Y'all let me know in the comments, are y'all still doing banking in person? Do you prefer banking in person or do you prefer the app online? Uh, start sharing over here. Okay. Make it a little bit bigger for me. Okay, so Truist is to close 72 locations by March. We're in April, so I'm not sure if these branches have closed. I did not see an update, but Truist um, announced plans to consolidate their bank branches networks in September of last year, part of a $750 million cost-cutting effort. The 72 uh, locations make up about 3.5% of their footprint. Truist plans to close 72 locations, 3.5% of the uh, 
branch network by March as the Charlotte, North Carolina based bank responds to changes in client behavior, meaning they don't have a lot of foot traffic either. <clears throat> they're going to close. The firm said it sent customers letters in mid-December because they have to. This is mandatory. Anytime a bank is closing, they have to give a 90-day notice to employees as well as customers that this is what is happening. Truest Decisions to pair back its brick and mortar locations, which was first reported by American Banker, comes as the lender is executing a $750 cost cutting plan. We are cutting jobs, we are cutting our lease payments, etc. Truce did not respond to Banking Dive's request for a list of the branches. And I don't remember giving you a list, but a spokesperson for Truist told American Banker that nine branches are set to close. So I don't know if these banks actually close, but I'm going to say where they are um, in North Carolina and seven in Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. The firm is expected to shutter branches in Alabama, Georgia, Kentucky, Maryland, North Carolina, Virginia, um, The Atlanta Business Chronicle reported that the lender will also close eight branches in Georgia, including four in Atlanta. For the uh, vast majority of branches that are closing, clients will have access to a branch about two and a half miles away. So I really do pray these people have transportation, especially the ones who are older and are not interested in using an online app or don't know how to use the online app. They prefer to walk in and have that relationship with the banker. Following the closure, Truist will operate 1,900 branches and 2,900 ATMs. Um, they say they understand that in-person services and caring conversations are still important to so many. I guess that's why they're not closing up all of them as of right now, but y'all, these banks are shutting left and right. Uh, I didn't know that. Truist was formed by BB&T, $28 billion acquisition of SunTrust in 2019, struggled to realize uh, some of the cost savings that executives had projected as a result of the merger. So a lot of these companies are merging and buying each other out and then realizing, oh, my gosh, this is more than I thought. I didn't realize it was going to be like this right here. That's what's happening with the family dollar in the Dollar Tree. When the Dollar Tree bought out the family dollar, they knew the family dollar was struggling. They thought that they could turn it around. And that's when they decided, hey, we can't turn this around. We're going to close these damn six. Ooh. We're going to close these 600 stores. Y'all forgive me. We're going to close these 600 stores. Um, and it is what it is. We tried. We failed. And we're going to move on. We're going to cut our loss. We're not going to keep our money into this. That's what these banks are doing. So y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Especially let me know what you think about Bank of America closing up those accounts um, based off the people's political beliefs. That's uh, that is a lot. That it that is definitely a lot to take in. Um, leave comments again. Hit the like, share. Best way to help this channel. Help me on this channel. Um, this is a job for me. This is my career. <laughs> so y'all, please help the career out. Okay, give the girl a boost by hitting that like button as many times as you can, sharing out with your family and friends on social media. And I will see y'all in the next video. Remember that I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. Please be the best you that you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love. Why? Because God is love and that is what he would want you to do. Peace, love, and light. Thanks for being here on Tiny Rights TV Homestead. Smooches and aha.